What's up guys, it's Tobias from the Sabaya Cartel, bringing you guys another tutorial and in this tutorial I mainly want to focus on leader switching. The reason why I'm doing a tutorial on this is because I just finished training one of you guys online and uh, you guys weren't really aware of how effective leader switching is. Now, in my easy combo cancel tutorial, I did teach you guys that you guys can easily uh, cancel your combos by chakra dashing. Now there is a problem with that, obviously you waste a lot of chakra. So what happens if you want to get longer combos and of course, um, okay, what happens if you want to get longer combos and do more damage and you know, and you don't want to waste chakra, obviously you guys can just leader switch. Now I'm going to be showcasing the tactic uh, pretty soon, but first I would just want to give you guys some uh, beginner tips, I guess, for leader switching. So uh, you cannot leader switch if your character, if the support character is actually on red. Like when, when the charge up thingy is on red, obviously you cannot leader switch to him. Guys, keep in mind, if you're an average Naruto player, I know you already know this, but I am also making this video for the newer players that you know don't really know how to use leader switching effectively, all of that good stuff. So yeah, that's one thing to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is that you guys can call in a support and then instantly leader switch to him. This is also, this is very good to use on ranked because sometimes people don't really see this coming. I mean, the game's been out for a month. A lot of people are doing it right now, but not a lot, a lot of people are actually doing it, which of course kind of gives you like uh, an advantage in a way. Unless you're playing with a super duper tryhard, of course, you know, those guys are like freaking gods. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes down to a uh, regular... Uh, I guess you could say beginner tips when it comes down to leader switching. Now, uh, leader switching to get longer combos and to do more damage is pretty simple. All you guys want to do is start off your combo and then just flick the right stick to the left or the right to pretty much, uh, you know, the support character that you guys want to switch. Now, this is one thing that I like to do. If I am going to leader switch, I want to make sure that I have both of my characters filled up because like that, I can do it a total of five times what do i mean by this okay one two three four and five as you guys can see right there i did a total of what 42 hits with itachi i'm actually going to play a clip um of uh, that i got uh, on a player match uh showcasing this tactic in uh, motion and um, um, the reason why i'm going to play this clip for you guys is because uh, this clip goes to show how effective this tactic could be if you use it to its fullest potential. Alright guys, so another benefit of leader switching is that it can counter the enemy subs. So I did tell you guys in my Essentials of Online Combat that a way that you can counter the person's subs... Oh wait, I need to actually connect my second controller. Let me do this. Okay, here we go. Um, and a, a way to counter your opponent's sub is by pressing, uh, by chakra dashing as soon as they sub. I actually messed that up, but keep in mind guys, I am using two controllers. Um, so it's kind of hard to record while you know, playing with two controllers. But yeah, I did taught you guys that you guys can counter the opponent's uh, subs by just chakra dashing as soon as they sub. Another thing that you guys can do, instead of wasting chakra, as soon as they sub, you guys can uh, leader switch, as you guys can see right there. Pretty, pretty simple, really, really good tactic. Honestly, it's not something that you see a lot uh, right now in ranked, but you know, well, the game's only been out for a month. So honestly, you're, you will see this a lot in ranked if you guys are seeing this like a month. Uh, two months after the game's been out and all that stuff. But yeah, the point is that it's not something that it's seen a lot and it's a very, very good tactic to counter subs. And the good thing is that you don't have to uh, waste chakra. All right, guys. So last but not least, I do want to share some of my uh, regular, I guess, uh, leader switching tips with you guys. Uh, one of the, just, just sharing with you guys things that I like to do. Um, this works very, very well if people are spamming the Inferno style Fireball Jutsu. Obviously, you guys want to block. I always say, you know, block and then jump. All right, so you guys want to block, jump, chakra dash, and then as soon as you're getting close to the enemy, you guys want to leader switch. Now, why is this effective? Because the Fireball, it's going to hit, uh, for example, let's say that I'm playing with Itachi and Sasuke, it's uh, where 1010 is at. 
I'm going to jump, I'm going to chakra dash, and then Sasuke is going to throw his fireball. The fireball is going to hit Itachi, but it's not going to hit me, Kabuto, which of course gives you an opportunity to, you know, go for an ultimate or, you know, go for uh, a regular combo, you know, whatever it is that you're into. Um, so yeah, guys, that's just uh, one of the tactics that I like to do. Another thing that you guys can do, um, you guys can also chakra dash from a long range. Like, for example, like I'm about to do right now. And then you guys can just leader switch. Uh, I guess it's kind of almost the same thing as the jumping one. Except that the jumping one, I mainly just use it like if I want to take a fireball. I mean, if I want my my little quote-unquote sub to take the uh, fireball for me. All of that good stuff. Uh, another thing that you guys can do, which I don't really think I can showcase it with Itachi. But, okay, let's say that I had Itachi and then, actually, let me just do it with Kabuto. So, one of the things that you guys can do is just do two ninjutsus, which just wastes a lot of chakra and I don't really recommend it. But, hey, if you're a fucking beast and you're, you know, having a lot of, if you're having a huge advantage on the enemy, you can do this, right? So, you guys can go for a ninjutsu, then switch to your other dude and then just do another ninjutsu if you feel like it. Now, the, the good advantage of doing this is that your storm gauge is going to increase very very quickly if you just constantly do this as you guys can see look at the storm guys it increased by like what maybe 10 percent in a short amount of time but the problem to that is is that it will mess up your chakra a lot so honestly i don't really recommend that uh, i don't really recommend that you guys do that a lot and yeah guys that's pretty much it when it comes down to leader switching uh, i'm pretty sure that i forgot something but if i forgot something i'll just leave it in the description if you guys have any other tips for leader switching i uh, do feel free to put them down in the comment sections below at the end of the day we all just want to get better at the game and if you are already a beast at the game it would be great if you would share your tips with us anyways hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did feel free to drop it a banana feel free to drop it a peach feel free to drop it a mango feel free to drop it a pineapple uh also feel free to drop the video a like and feel free to subscribe to join the sabaha cartel and of course i will be seeing you guys on the next video peace